Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review The 33. So The 33 is directed by Patricia Riggin. It stars Antonio Banderas, Rodrigo Santoro, Lou Diamond Phillips, and many, many more. So The 33 is based on a true story of 33 miners that are stuck inside a mine when it totally collapses and traps them inside so it's up to the government to try to figure out a way to save all of those miners from down that mine now of course the first thing about this movie is that antonio banderas and all of the other actors who play the miners they did such a really great job in the movie you could tell there was a lot of heart and passion into each of these gentlemen's performances. I definitely say in terms of like the minors, the standouts are definitely Antonio Banderas and Lou Diamond Phillips. These two, of course, without getting any, any details, I felt like they gave the most strong performances. Rodrigo Santoro is another performance I felt really stood out as well as he does play the minister who tries to help get Antonio Banderas and them out of the mind. Not only is his performance great, but you actually care about his character because he's not one of those typical government people where they're all like, oh yeah, we're just here to save him, blah, blah, blah. No, like, this dude legitimately cares to actually get Antonio Banderas and all the other miners out of there. Like he actually wanted to help them get out there and you could clearly see it in his character. Also, um, Cote de Pablo, who I know is from NCIS, which I've never watched, I thought she did a really good job here. And the cool thing is that she actually showed up at my advanced screening for the 33. Like before the movie started, she showed up to do like a little Q&A, which was like 10 minutes long. And it was a very cool Q&A because she was talking about the filming of this movie and how she grew up in Chile. And this event was in 2010 in Chile, actually. So it actually happened where she was born. And she did a really good job here. And it was actually just very cool to see her do the Q&A at my event screening. I didn't get to meet her or anything. I just got to like see her answer the questions, especially like from the people at the advanced screening, but it was very cool and that doesn't really happen often. So that was cool to actually get an actress from this movie, The 33, to actually come to my screening, answer some questions before the movie started. It's well directed by Patricia Riggin, who directed Lemonade Mouth. Yeah, that's right. The same director of a Disney Channel original movie actually directed this movie. And Lemonade Mouth wasn't too bad of a movie. I actually thought it was actually pretty good. And then you also have Girl in Progress, which I really hated. It was one of the worst movies of 2012. Thank God this movie's actually way better than that piece of crap in my opinion. She actually did do a really good job directing this movie. You could tell there was passion through the camera and the direction kept steady at all times and she really wanted you to be into this environment so I really did appreciate that from a director that really wanted to tell the story because it's crazy how all of this happened back in 2010. Five years since all of this happened to the miners in Chile. So it was really cool to see the story being told on screen thanks to the direction of Patricia. The movie does have some really good writing to it and some scenes to just keep me interested and it also actually does have a few pretty intense moments I would say particularly the scene when the mind collapses I thought that was actually a pretty intense and very well handled moment and then the climax without giving anything away I thought the climax was actually a pretty intense moment and then the score by James Horner who may rest in peace rest in peace of James Horner who is a brilliant music composer he did such a really great job composing the music for the 33 and it's thanks to his score that some of the scenes of the movie really flowed so well to his music. I really liked the scenes with the miners. I thought definitely those were the most interesting moments of the movie. And I really liked the moments with Rodrigo Santoro as well. But whenever we go to the miners, I was definitely a little bit more invested when it came to those moments. And surprisingly, the 33 actually has some funny moments to it. I'm just going to say there's a hallucination scene that actually had not only me cracking up so hard, but the 
people in my audience actually laughing really hard. Everyone was cracking up at that scene. The cinematography for the film I did think was pretty good for the most part too. Not the greatest cinematography. I did feel like some of the lighting could have been more better in some spots, but overall it was pretty well done. And then the last positive I have for the 33 is that the ending was very touching. I really enjoyed how the movie ended because you can just tell that the movie had so much respect for the miners and they do show you the real 33 miners at the end which I really did enjoy about the 33. However, my problems with the 33 is that some moments of this movie can get very cheesy and I mean like very very cheesy. Some moments tried to be funny and it just came off as forced and really off in my opinion. Because like I said, some of the humor in this movie, surprisingly funny. Really like those moments, but then there's some of the moments where I'm kind of like, yeah, that did not really work very well. Also, I do feel like the movie can get disjointed with like its structure. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to explain how it's a little disjointed, but just how it was structured in terms of how they were telling the stories with like the miners and the government wise plot, how the movie would go back and forth. It did feel pretty jumbled. Some of the dialogue in 33 could have been a lot better, just felt flat in some moments. And then there were moments here and there where it did feel like the movie was rushing. I know the movie tried to put in as much as they can in terms of the miners and what the government is trying to do to get the miners out, but I just felt like it was rushing through certain spots so that way it doesn't drag too much. And that's a good thing, but I just felt like some moments the movie could have just really slowed down. And then honestly, the last problem I did have with the 33 is that the movie wasn't really as emotional as it could have been. And I was really hoping to get some moving emotional moments out of the 33, to be honest, but it doesn't really deliver that. The movie may think it's emotional, but it really isn't. I would say I got a little bit of that in the climax, but I just wish that the movie delivered more of that emotional punch to really make the movie deliver, because honestly, if the movie had more emotion to it, I could have seen myself enjoy the movie more. Overall, guys, the 33, it's not too bad. It's not the most memorable movie or anything. It's not a movie I see myself rushing back to see or anything, but I say for the one-time watch, it was nice to see the storyline being told. So I say overall, yeah, it's a decent at best movie. It's okay. So I'm going to give the 33 two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of The 33? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!